Hi, today I want to show you how to make a stencil edge card in Inkscape that you can use in Cricut Design Space or any of your other cutting programs. First thing you want to do is find a nice stencil. I love this font called HFF Floral Stencil from Defont. So I've downloaded it here. When you download from Defont, you want to always use this gray button right over here on the right side. And then you can use the character maps here on Defont to find the one you want. There's some really great ones in here. I like this iris here on the lowercase g, so I'm going to go on to Inkscape where I've already loaded this font and restarted Inkscape so it'll show up for me. I've also in Inkscape I've already made an A2 card. This is just an 8.5 by 5.5 rectangle with a line centered in it, just done with the rectangle tool and a line tool and the alignment features. So the next thing I want to do is to bring my stencil in. So I'm just going to type a lowercase g, which is what I had found on the map, and then I'm going to change it to my stencil font, HFF Floral Stencil. I can choose from there. And then I'm just going to hold down the Control key so this stays proportional and stretch that out where I can see it. I'm going to Control D to make a copy on top of that copy. So this is very important. I have now two on top of each other. If I move it, you can see that. I'm going to just go back. So now I have two stock stacked, and I'm going to go to Path, Dynamic Offset. And you'll see this little diamond at the top. So you can pull on that, and you will see the offset is dynamic in that whenever you move that diamond, however you move that diamond is how the offset goes. So you can look at it and see what you like. And sometimes it goes wonky like that, so you want to go in or out if you see that happen. And then that looks good. And then once that is done, I need to go to Path, Object to Path. And then I'm going to just group these two things, Control G, and then I'm going to size them proportionally so that the height is 5.5 because I wanted exactly the height of my card. So now I'm going to position it so that the top and bottom are touching and the edge is touching. I can do that with the uh, alignment instead of just using the uh, by eyeball. And then I'm going to ungroup it. This button ungroups. And then I'm going to go to my node tool and I'm going to click on this rectangle and I need to make that a path because it was a rectangle. And then I'm going to, to pick this point where the, the offset intersects the rectangle and I'm going to double click. You'll see a new point pop up there. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom and do the same thing. Just double click. All right, so now I'm going to delete this point, and I'm going to delete this point. And you see I've got kind of a wacky curve there. That's not a problem. All I need to do is click on that, and then go to this straight line tool, and it just makes that all fall into line there. All right, so now I've got to take this, what's left in my rectangle, and just the offset, not the stencil, just the offset, and then I'm going to go to Path, Union. So now I've cut basically the edge of my card. And now I'm going to take the stencil and the, the card, and I'm going to go to Path, Difference. So I'm subtracting that out. So now if I color my card, Oop, I'm, on, I'm in outline view, that's why it's not showing. When, when you use the outline view in uh, Inkscape, it's very helpful to show you what the cut lines are. But if you forget, then you don't understand why it's not showing you what it works like. So now if I take the, the red off, you can see that that's what the card looks like. It's really important to have this score line here because otherwise you don't know where the fold goes to make this work out. 
but if you were to get this into Cricut Design Space where the score line wanders or you need to put in a new score line, you just remember it's going to be 4.25 inches from, from the left edge. So you should be able to save this as a SVG, and which is what the default is, and then bring this into Cricut Design Space and make yourself a beautiful stencil edge card. That's all there is to it. Hope you enjoy using this. Thanks for watching.